Hi, I'm Don Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be checking out Halion 6 from Steinberg. Steinberg's Halion 6 is a tweaker's delight from sampling to editing, synthesis to the instrument interface design and sculpting. There's little I can think of this workhorse does not provide. Although there are 20 gigabytes of instruments you can jump right into, the software is designed more as a creative tool for you to take your own sounds or create your own instruments or take the factory sounds and take them out even further. All this power does come out of cost, a bit of a learning curve, and I felt a bit overwhelmed even the first time I opened the interface. How do I load an instrument? There's a dozen or so official videos to help hold your hand so you can get a little better lay of the land as to what Halion 6 is capable of and how to operate it, although I have to admit the interface feels a bit engineered as opposed to designed. Now that said, the sonic delight once digging into the depths of Halion encouraged me to indulge my inner tweaker. Experimenting with different wavetables, oscillators, tweaking LFOs and whatnot on the synths, to playing with the acoustic instruments and taking them out even further. on 6.0.1.5 the downloads as over 30 gigabytes of samples you got 3400 synth sounds and acoustic instruments and the synths range from virtual analog to granular synths and wave table synthesis Halion has a set of advanced library creation tools allowing you to drag and drop to custom create your own sample libraries as well as use the Halion scripting. There's audio warp for time stretching and pitch shifting. There's a flex phaser module for crafting beats and arpeggios. You're able to use the modules in the interface to customize the screen sets. There's a wide range of effects including convolution reverb and amp simulation. Holly on 6 is compatible with Windows as a VST3 or 2, as well as AAX, and compatible with Mac OS X as a VST3, AU, and AAX plugin. It also has standalone support for both platforms. The full version of Halion 6 sells for $349.99 from Steinberg. There's also updates available for previous owners. As a media composer, I primarily am using ready-made contact instruments that I'm able to jump into right away to compose scores for the screen. As I started downloading and watching the walkthrough videos, reading any other material I could find about the instrument, I was starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed, and it didn't help that the install process required me to download a downloader, to download the products, to download the update, to download an e-licensor, to download a e-license helper until I could finally get a copy of Halion 6 to boot up in my DAW. So Halion 6 comes with uh, a number of its own instruments and factory presets. Uh, it's got its own anime wavetable synth. wavetable oscillators, uh, really cutting edge synth sounds, and the ability to control some arpeggiation as well as LFOs and effects. Skylab, which is a granular synthesis module. With just 
just about every parameter I could think of for tweaking out position for samples, jumping around, modulation, LFOs, arpeggiation. And a slew of samples that you can load right in from the instruments interface. Halion 6 comes with a couple different pianos, the Eagle. Which comes with a variety of timbres for different styles and sounds. As well as the ability to really manipulate the instrument with the effects take it much further out than just a regular piano sound. So it comes with the Raven. Oh, which has a really lovely tone to it, and of course, a variation of different instruments manipulated to get a variety of different tones. One of the things I did really like about these pianos is the ability to have that tone knob here for the soft sounds or dial it up a little bit more to get that hard attack. Continuing on with the acoustic instruments included in Halion 6 is the hot brass. Which, in my opinion, isn't going to cut it into uh, most of the scoring work that I need to do, except for maybe if I need kind of a uh, 80s style kind of sound here or there. Halion 6 also includes a Studio Strings library. And I'd probably be more forgiving on it, except it says it's tailored specifically for film scoring.
having dozens of other string libraries that are tailored for film scoring, I have to be a little critical as Studio Strings falls short with mostly of the sound as well as performance and lack of legatos, especially on the solo instruments, really leave this instrument lacking for realism. I was excited to load up the world instruments. As normally with a lot of the plucked and uh, struck instruments, it's easy to create us a nice sample library from those. Unfortunately, I felt like Alion 6's world instruments really laid on the effects a little thick. Once I stripped down the sounds, I started to hear the samples by themselves and wasn't really too pleased. Especially loading up with unneeded arpeggios. Or drenched with effects, which somehow seemed to be the way that they were maybe resuscitating these samples. It was at this point in which my criticism then switched because now I'm starting to think of this acoustic sample set included in the library is more for the EDM pop or rock producer more so than trying to create realism from acoustic sampled instruments. Again, throwing me for another loop is the World Percussion set of libraries. All of the kits included are actually a loops and phrases. As I had opened it up, hoping that I have some individual instruments, since the samples sound perfectly fine for usable production use, I was a little surprised and disappointed that I couldn't find any individual drum samples to play my own rhythms and patterns. Helion 6 also includes a couple other synths. The one that I really enjoyed playing with was the Voltage. It has a great a vintage sound to it, plenty of parameters to tweak around, and a really nice selection of presets to get you jumping into that vintage synth sound. a reconstruction of an analog synth behind quote unquote hallmark sounds of some of the greatest bands in history. I found it really pleasant and great vintage sounds. Try a 
is a virtual analog synth with three multi-oscillators. Which you're able to get some really great sounds out of. And the Model C does a perfectly great job of delivering your classic organ sounds. Plenty of pull and real world amp simulators for this one. Now, ease of use wise, I'm still a little critical overall on uh, jumping around to load up the instrument. You know, I just would have liked to see it jump to the macro mode every time I load up an instrument so it's ready to roll. I realized, though, that this Halion 6 was designed for you more so to tinker and create your own sounds. In Steinberg's official video, they go on to show some functionality the instrument has, like live sampling, where you're able to just continue to play notes sequentially, and the Halion 6 will automatically catalog them so you're ready to jump in and start building your own instruments. It also wouldn't be a just review without mentioning the integration Halion has with Cubase, Steinberg's DAW. Uh, it looks like there's the ability to control lots of factors, as this could be really helpful and useful for workflow for composers using Cubase. In this review, we've really just started to scratch the surface of what Halion 6 is all about. So if you're interested and want to dive deeper and learn about some of the other functionality that I've mentioned but haven't covered, I'll be sure to include a link over to Sample Library Review's Halion 6 page where we'll include a playlist of all the official videos as well as any other demos or reviews we find around the web. Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. Would love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals posts. Yeah.